Victor, we're gonna be okay. I love the red. Good. Hi, welcome to the Red Devil Coatings Instructional Guide. I'm John. And I'm Allison. And we're here to show you how to do it right. You know, do-it-yourselfers have been using Red Devil Coatings for years and with great success. That's right. We want to show you how easy it is to successfully reawaken the beauty of the furniture in and around your house with Red Devil enamels, primers, wood finishes, and removers. We're going to finish cleaning up here and then meet you in our workshop and show you just how easy it is to actually do it yourself with Red Devil. Okay? Okay, I've got the clock. You got it. Here we are. First, we want to show you how to use the many great enamels from Red Devil. But before we get started, we've got to be sure we choose the correct enamel formulation for the project. Now, enamels are available in two basic types of formulations. The first is an oil-based enamel. Now, oil-based enamels are generally known for their hardness and durability and are found either as a brush-on liquid or an aerosol spray. The second type of enamel is a water-based latex enamel, known for its ease of use and convenient water cleanup characteristics. Latex enamels are available in a brush-on liquid form. Now, as you might expect, Red Devil enamels come in both types of formulation for almost every type of coating situation. First, there's gloss polyurethane oil enamel. It can be used inside and outside, including marine surfaces above the waterline. Because it's harder than ordinary house paint, its beautiful finish lasts and lasts. It's extra washable and resists chipping, marring, and abrasion. It helps control rust, too, when used with a metal primer like Red Devil Rust Solution Primer. Red Devil Gloss Polyurethane Oil Enamel also comes in a spray with colors that match the brush-on liquid form of enamels. With an aerosol spray, you can get into hard-to-reach areas. See this? This is a patented fan spray head, which offers more spray control and cuts down on the overspray you can get from regular spray heads. It's easier to press, too, for less finger fatigue. Then, there's Red Devil Acrylic Latex Gloss Enamel. It's water-based, so it dries faster than conventional oil paints, produces little odor, and is easy to clean up with soap and water. It, too, is harder than ordinary house paints, so it's durable and washable, and it's almost brush mark free for a smooth, level, high-gloss finish. For areas that are especially subject to dirt, grime, and moisture, Red Devil offers Kitchen Bath and Trim Enamel, it's a tough, water-based enamel that contains advanced resin technology, combining oil-based durability with the ease of water cleanup. It also resists chipping, peeling, and repeated scrubbing, so it's perfect for kitchen and bath cabinets, laundry room shelves, indoor-outdoor furniture, any place that moisture lurks. Red Devil also makes two terrific specialty aerosol sprays. First, there's the stove and barbecue black enamel finish. It can help make your grill, indoor stove, or other high heat surface look new again. It withstands temperature extremes and resists water and grease. Next, there's a spray lacquer that produces a shiny, super tough finish that dries fast. It's perfect for making old wicker baskets look shiny and new again. And to finish and protect craft items, like this Christmas ornament I made. It's terrific, Allison. Now, both of these products come with the patented fan spray head Allison showed you earlier, making it easy to apply. Once we've decided on the appropriate type of coating we'll be using on our projects, there's still one very important decision that has to be made. Color. What color should it be? Well, with Red Devil coatings, we're in luck when it comes to choice. Both Red Devil enamels, oil and latex, are available in a wide range of brilliant, ready-mix colors, including tarnish-resistant metallic finishes. Some latex enamels are even available in custom pastels and off-white colors as well. If you go with a custom color, make sure you get enough the first time around. But if you do need more, make sure you return to the same retailer who mixed your original batch. That way you'll help ensure maximum consistency of your color. Wasn't there something we wanted to remember to do? With? No. Grill. Grill. Yeah. Better write it down.
This old wagon's been hanging around our garage for some time. Mm -hmm. It's still usable, and we thought we could carry our garden tools in it. But it needs a little help to get the surface back into shape. First, we've got to deal with this rust, and then give it a nice new enamel finish. Now, since it's made of metal, we chose to finish it in Red Devil Gloss Polyurethane Oil Enamel in Chinese Red. But before we apply the final finish, we need to prime it first with Red Devil Rust Solution Primer. It'll help prevent rust from coming back when finished with a nice, durable enamel coat. We're forgetting something. Before you start painting anything, remember to always read the label instructions of every coating product you'll be using very carefully. Then, make sure you have everything you need to do the job before you start. A brush, mineral spirits, sandpaper, a rag or two, and drop cloths to protect the area around you. And wear old protective clothes. You can't do a good job if you're worrying about getting paint on your good clothes. Always make sure you have good light and good ventilation. You want plenty of fresh flowing air, but stay out of the direct sun and wind. Heat and wind can cause the enamel to dry too fast, making it difficult to apply. And stay away from dusty areas, too. Again, always follow label directions very carefully. This metal wagon has lots of scratches and even some rusty patches that are going to need special attention before I start painting. First, I'll use a wire brush to remove the rust. I could also use sandpaper or a chemical rust remover if it was very rusty. You want to make sure you flake off any old loose paint and thoroughly remove all the rust. Then clean the surface with an all-purpose cleaner or use trisodium phosphate to get rid of the dust and dirt. Be sure to let the surface dry thoroughly. After it's dry, we need to prime it. A primer should cover all previously rusted areas and help keep the rust from coming back, and it gives our enamel finish a base to adhere to. Red Devil Rust Solution Primer is a heavy-duty, oil-based formula that forms a protective, moisture-proof shield. It will help prevent rust from returning once I've covered it with a high-quality enamel like Red Devil Enamel. Just be sure to mask off areas that you don't want painted, such as the handle and wheels. Masking tape and newspaper usually work great. Now, I'm going to prime it. After the primer dries, sand lightly to help the final enamel finish bond tightly to the primer. Now Allison can apply the enamel after I wipe down the wagon with a dust-free cloth. For our new garden wagon, I'm using Red Devil's Gloss Polyurethane Oil Enamel Spray. I could use a brush without a problem, but the spray enamel will be quick and smooth. When spraying, always keep your spraying arm moving in a constant and even motion. Don't try to spray too much at one time or it'll run. You can always apply a second coat later. Several thin coats are better than one thick one anyway. Just make sure you apply subsequent coats within an hour and a half of the first so you don't lift the finish. Now, after you're finished, carefully hold the can upside down and spray for about five seconds onto a rag or newspaper. There. That should clear the nozzle for future use. Now, of course, you realize we did the same masking and painting steps with the wheels and the handle. And in no time, it's done. A wagon that looks as good as new. This is really going to come in handy in the garden. Oh, I've got some rhododendrons out back. We can get them in. Oh, well, honey, it's still wet. Oh, well, you'll have time to dig the holes then. Say you have a previously painted piece of furniture that needs repainting. It's stained from sap or water, or maybe there's a big grease stain from your last cookout. Well, just painting over the stain won't necessarily hide it. More than likely, the stain will reappear, and all your effort will have been wasted. Well, luckily for us, there's Red Devil Stain Solution Oil-Based Primer. It's used like the Rust Solution Primer we used on the wagon. 
It's specially formulated to provide excellent hiding power against stains. It covers up all sorts of stains, water, grease, crayon, lipstick, bleeding wallpaper, and more. It'll help us put this Adirondack chair back into proper condition. First, we want to choose the right enamel for the job. In this case, it's Red Devil Gloss Polyurethane Oil Enamel because its hard, beautiful finish will stand up to tough outdoor abuse. This time, we're going to use the brush on liquid for more control. We've chosen a brush that's about two and a half inches wide or about the same width as these slats on the chair. Now, be sure to read all label directions carefully and go through your mental checklist of preparations. Wear old protective clothes, have plenty of fresh flowing air, and stay out of direct sun and wind. And make sure you have all necessary painting tools, which we showed you earlier. There's nothing worse than starting a job only to realize that you forgot something critical, such as a cloth, to wipe up any spills. Ready? Mm -hmm. Good. After sanding and cleaning the wood thoroughly and vigorously stirring the primer, we can start. Just paint the stain solution on. It's that easy. Notice how easily it covers the chair? It's actually creating a barrier that will help keep stains from reappearing while protecting the final enamel finish. Once the stain solution primer is dry, sand it to give the enamel an abraded surface to cling to. Then remove the dust and clean thoroughly with a dust-free cloth. Now it's time to paint. First, you want to stir the enamel thoroughly to ensure an even color. Well, this is a good time to tell you that you really shouldn't paint in extreme temperatures. Between 50 and 90 degrees is ideal. Because this is an oil-based enamel, we're using a natural fiber brush. Synthetic brushes are best left for water-based enamels. The actual painting is really very easy. A quality enamel like this one does a good job of leveling itself out so few brush strokes will be visible. Just make sure your coat is thin enough so it doesn't run on vertical surfaces. To clean up after using oil-based enamels, you'll need mineral spirits. Be sure to clean your brush well so it'll be ready for your next project. Oh, the new enamel finish on this chair is gonna hold up really well outside. <laughs> In fact, Red Devil Gloss Polyurethane Oil Enamel works well on wood and metal. Oh, and if you do get scratches on it, you have two touch-up options. Brush on a little leftover liquid, or use the aerosol gloss polyurethane oil enamel. And with the spray, just be sure to use 40 steel wool to remove any excess overspray. Next project. Now, how about that old mailbox or the old wicker chair? I'd like to get the planters right on the patio Honey, with the... Uh, how about we just paint the town red? Oh, I'll buy that. We've decided to upgrade our kitchen, but our budget won't let us replace our old cabinets. So we thought we'd give them a more modern look by changing the hardware, but most importantly, by changing the color. That's where Red Devil comes to the rescue. I'm going to use Red Devil acrylic latex gloss enamel. So let's get started by first removing any decorative hardware on the cabinet, like handles and hinges. Place the cabinet doors on a flat surface to prevent enamel run marks. Oh, you know, it's a good idea to have the door raised on some wood blocks to prevent paint from running under the edges. And then we need to remove any dirt and grease that's on the surface with an all-purpose cleaner. If you have any stubborn dirt, your sandpaper can remove that while preparing the surface for painting. Before you apply the final enamel finish, it should be primed with a high quality primer, like Red Devil Peeling Solution, Rust Solution, or Stain Solution primers. Now, in order to keep this flaky paint from peeling in the future and ruining our new enamel finish, I'll prime it. But first, I should smooth the paint edges with a number 220 garnet paper. Now, I'm going to prime it with Red Devil Peeling Solution Primer. It's a latex breather type primer that allows moisture to escape. It's perfect for peeling wooden siding on your house or places where moisture is a problem, like the kitchen, in the bath. 
It resists mildew on the primer coat, too. After priming, I'm going to finish our cabinet here with Red Devil Acrylic Latex Gloss Enamel. It's tough, and it'll be easy to clean up because it's water-based. Be sure you have enough before you start. And remember to read the label directions carefully. Now, apply even strokes. And maintain a wet edge to avoid overlapping and streaking. Soon your cabinets will have a great custom look, and the tough enamel finish will make future cleanups quick and easy. Oh, this just looks terrific. <laughs> you know, our neighbors are going to think we had a whole new kitchen installed. <laughs> it just looks beautiful. And it'll stay that way for a long time, because we took all the necessary steps to keep it beautiful. The simple secret to success with Red Devil is choosing the right primer and the right enamel coating for the type of surface you're working on and the type of abuse your furniture will be exposed to. Red Devil coatings are formulated to meet those needs, as well as give new life and beauty to all those things you treasure most around your home. And the best part of all is that you can say, I did it myself. <laughs>
best to start with a small area, like a leg or a drawer, in order for you to get the hang of how finish removal works. Now, brush on a heavy coat in one direction with your nylon brush, and soon it'll start lifting the paint from the surface. Now, let the remover do the work, and don't work on a larger area than you can handle at one time. You know, working in smaller areas is just fine. Let it sit until the finish is thoroughly softened for about 10 minutes. Then use your plastic lifter to gently remove the softened finish and scoop it into a corrugated box. To remove any stubborn spots, just brush more remover on the spots. Wait and then lift it off. After scraping, I clean the surface and remove any embedded paint with a wash, like Formby's Paint Remover Wash or Paint Thinner, to get rid of any residue. Then wipe with a clean, dry cloth. Dispose of the old removed finish safely at a recycling or disposal facility designed to handle this kind of material. If you don't have access to a recycling facility, let the residue dry in a corrugated box away from children, pets, and any ignition sources. Then you can place it in your daily waste. We've brought the wood back to its natural state by stripping. Now we can give it new life and beauty. And there are a number of ways we can do it. We could just seal the natural wood grains without staining. For that, we'd use a Red Devil clear varnish or clear polyurethane to let the natural beauty of the wood grain show through. Or we could stain the wood with one of Red Devil's penetrating oil wood stains to accent the grain, then add a clear finish coat for protection. Or we could use a combination stain and varnish product like Red Devil polyurethane varnish stain. Now this third option is what I recommend to beginners and people who don't have a lot of time to devote to refinishing projects because it stains and puts on a tough protective clear coat in one step. Instead of staining, we could use this antiquing and graining kit for an early American look. Wow, that's lots of choices. That's right, but no matter which method you choose, make sure you read and follow all label directions carefully. For our table here, we decided on the two-step approach, a stain first and then a clear finish coat. It offers us color control along with our desired sheen level for a long-lasting beautiful finish. For the stain, we chose Red Devil Penetrating Oil Wood Stain in Cherry. It's also available in seven other natural-looking wood tones. Red Devil Penetrating Oil Wood Stain accents natural grains in addition, its deep penetrating oil formula seals interior wood surfaces. First, we've made sure the wood surface was clean and dry. Then we sanded it smooth using a number 220 garnet paper, which worked quite well. If you're dealing with new wood, say unfinished furniture, you should clean it with mineral spirits before you start sanding. Be sure you wipe away all the dust. A dust-free cloth works great. Never use water to clean the wood. It could raise the grain, and you don't want that. Be sure to shake or stir vigorously to ensure proper consistency. It brings the stain pigment to the top. And by the way, frequent stirring maintains uniform color consistency. First, we want to apply the stain to a test area to check the color, because the final color is a combination of the natural wood's own coloration plus the color of the stain. Put some stain on your cloth or onto a natural fiber varnish brush and apply in the direction of the wood grain. This is going to look great. Sure is. It's best to stain one area at a time. Allow to set three to five minutes. Then wipe off excess with cotton rags to control the degree of color you want. Always wipe with the grain of the wood so you get a uniform color and avoid streaks. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This is the color we're looking for. It's looking great. But if you should want a darker shade, allow to dry and just repeat the process.
Next, we're going to put a tough protective finish on our beautiful stained wood. Red Devil has several types of clear finishes in a variety of sheens to complement all types of decor. You can choose Red Devil Clear Varnish, the traditional clear finish. It's perfect for normal wear surfaces where you want a softer, more natural look. Clear varnish is available in high gloss and satin sheens. However, this finish is not recommended for hardwood floors. Or you can choose Red Devil Interior Clear Polyurethane in a brush on liquid or aerosol spray. And it comes in high gloss, semi gloss, and satin sheens. It's harder than ordinary clear finishes and its beautiful clear finish will last and last. It has outstanding sealing properties and super hardness for tough abuse areas, including floors. It resists marring, chipping, and abrasion, and protects against alcohol and most household chemicals. If you are refinishing floors with a clear polyurethane, always sand to bare wood, and then clean with mineral spirits to remove any floor wax that might have been driven into the wood while sanding. Now again, before using any finish, be sure to read and follow all label directions carefully. Now, getting back to our nightstand here, we decided on the interior clear polyurethane for our protective finish. Be sure to wait at least 24 hours after staining to begin your finishing. And never apply a finish on a humid or rainy day. Humidity may greatly increase drying time. Unlike stains, you don't want to shake either clear varnish or polyurethane to mix it. Stir with a flat paddle to evenly disperse the resins and keep air bubbles to a minimum. Now, whether you use clear varnish or polyurethane, you'll need a clean varnish brush made of natural fibers like this one. Apply a thin, smooth coat over the surface. It will probably take several coats to fill the grain and get a good protective film built up. And that's okay. Just don't overbrush it and sand lightly between coats with the number 220 garnet paper to provide an abraded surface for each protective clear coat. Then remove the dust with a dust-free cloth. By the way, pine and fir woods readily absorb and will require additional coats. Woods such as oak and mahogany may require more coats in order to fill the grain. After you've applied the finished coat, the cleanup will require mineral spirits or paint thinner. Let the finished coat dry in a well-ventilated area, but not where there is a blowing draft. Wind or a fan can cause unsightly ripples or embedded dust. And the result is a beautiful, long-lasting finish and a job well done. You know what? We're going to need new lamps with this. Well, the ones we have are fine. And matching shades, and a new bedspread, and a clock radio, a and a new color TV, a and a computer. For outside objects, like this child's picnic table, you'll follow the same finishing steps as we use to protect the nightstand. We've decided to use a clear finish only, rather than staining this wood, to let the natural beauty show through. You'll want to use Red Devil Exterior Clear Polyurethane, like we did here. It helps protect your outdoor wood from the harmful effects of ultraviolet rays while helping to prevent cracking and peeling. It actually expands and contracts with the surface to guard against most kinds of weather in a wide range of temperatures. It comes in a high gloss or a satin sheen, so you can control how your finish will look. It'll help keep our child's picnic table or your own adult size one from splitting and warping. Now, since no exterior clear finish lasts forever, be sure to watch for signs of aging and remove the old finish and reapply a new exterior clear finish as needed. If you do this, your picnic table will help you enjoy the great outdoors for a long time. Okay, so it's your first time. Finishing is new to you. Don't worry, it's no problem. Red Devil makes it so easy with their polyurethane varnish stain. It stains and leaves a tough polyurethane varnish finish in one easy step. I use it myself when I'm in a hurry. Red Devil polyurethane varnish stains give you deep, lustrous colors and a resilient, protective finish. 
Use it to renew stained finishes or normal wear interior wooden surfaces, although we don't recommend it for use on hardwood floors. It's available in five natural looking wood tones in high gloss or satin sheens. I'm going to use American Walnut to accent my other early American decor. Wait till you see what it does to this new unfinished bookcase. I've already sanded the surface with light sandpaper and cleaned it with mineral spirits and a rag. So now I'm ready to let the magic begin. Look at that. See how easy it is? And quick too. Just brush it on lightly. This is terrific. Oh, it's gonna look perfect in the den. Now I'll come back later after it's dry and put on a second coat to build a good protective layer. Try this product if time is a factor for you. The polyurethane varnish stain cuts your work in half. It saves the time you'd usually spend just waiting for your stain and successive coats of clear finish to dry. And it gives you the satisfaction of doing it yourself and doing it right. Now, no matter which stain or finish you choose, natural wood with an interior clear polyurethane finish or exterior clear polyurethane finish penetrating oil wood stain with an interior clear polyurethane finish a one-step polyurethane varnish stain that protects itself or simulating antique furniture or natural looking wood grains with antiquing and graining kits they can give your wood an old-fashioned early american look you can trust Red Devil products because they're packed with 80 years of coating know-how. For all your finishing projects or surface protection needs, there's probably a Red Devil coating solution. We want to give you some helpful tips on storing Red Devil coating products after you've finished your projects. Be sure to store the leftover coatings and removers carefully. It's very important to store all enamels, wood finishes, and removers out of the reach of children and pets. Store paint cans right side up, making sure lids are sealed tight. This prevents a skin from forming. Top clear polyurethanes or clear varnish coatings with one to two tablespoons of mineral spirits to prevent a skin from forming. If you'll be using your brush again the next day, Clean it thoroughly and store it in a sealed plastic bag. However, if you don't choose to store them, it's always nice to donate the leftover coatings and removers to a charity or give them to a friend for use in their workshop. One last thing. It is possible that not all retail outlets will carry all Red Devil coatings shown on this tape. For assistance in locating Red Devil products not found in your store or for answers to any questions you may have, please write us at Red Devil. We'll be more than happy to provide additional usage and application tips. We hope you've enjoyed this do-it-yourself instructional guide and that we've helped you choose the right Red Devil coating for your next project. And that we've shown you how to use these products effectively and safely. Most of all, we hope that you've seen how easy and how fun it can be doing it yourself. For the finish of a lifetime, Always look for Red Devil. <laughs>